Kelly Bonnie. I'm the host of the Innovator Series, brought to you by Technology for Obama. And I'm here with Merrick Marini, who is the founder and CEO of Branch Out. Uh, it is his third company. Um, it's one of the most successful companies that's actually built on the Facebook platform, has raised over $50 million from some of those prestigious venture firms. So it's such a pleasure to be with you. Great. Thank you. So, Rick, this is your kind of third, am I right in saying third startup that you've yeah. been founder of? That's right. Um, You've done some really innovative things in all three of those companies, whether it's Tickle or Superfan or Branch Out. And I'm just curious if you could maybe talk a little bit about innovation and kind of what you think the necessary uh, kind of characteristics are to make a company innovative. Sure, yeah. So I think um, any entrepreneur needs to be innovative, right? You've got to have a vision of how you think you can change the world. And, and that's really what innovation is. It's taking something that's existing today and creating something that makes it better, makes it more scalable, more effective, more efficient, whatever it is. And uh, and that's what I've tried to do with my three companies, right? With with Tickle, it was the largest personality testing site in the world. But, you know, the personality testing sites have been around for a long time. You think about Myers-Briggs or the IQ test. What we did is we innovated to bring all that online. This is back in 1999 when the internet was really young, right? This is a long time ago in internet years. Um, but what we did is allow people to take a personality test and be able to share that with their friends, th those results, be able to get feedback immediately. Instead of waiting two or three weeks to get your results back in the mail from an IQ test or Myers-Briggs, get that immediately. Make it fun. Make it shareable. And I think um, if you fast forward to what we're doing with Branch Out, we're innovating again, right? Um, job boards and professional networking, those things have been around for a long time. But what we've done is try to leverage the Facebook platform to be able to innovate to let people be in an environment that they feel comfortable in, which is Facebook, and allow them to connect with the friends and family that would really go out of their way to help them. So building a platform that makes that much more efficient to find your connections and effective in that your connections to get a job or recruiting, um, that personal one-on-one -on -one connection is often the reason why one person will get a job over another. And do you, I'm just curious when, when you think about kind of how innovation happens, is innovation a founder who sits in his office and dreams up ideas and goes out and tells everyone, this is what we're going to do? Uh, or is it a team sport? Is it a bunch of people kind of brainstorming around a, a conference room table? I mean, how does it happen? Is it, is it a team sport? Is it individual? I think overall it's typically a team sport. I mean, you know, the 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration. Well, that 1% has to come from somewhere, right? So whether it's Mark Zuckerberg or Steve Jobs or someone like that who's the iconic leader of Who their... Who has big um, vision, big, big idea. Vision. Yeah, there has to be someone with a big vision if you're going to you know, really move the needle and create something innovative and truly disruptive. But none of these companies, including Apple or Facebook with these iconic leaders, none of these companies could fulfill on that vision without the help of a lot of people. Um, you know, a great team around the table, uh, the, the, the back-end engineers who often don't get enough credit that are actually coding all of this, the investors, the advisors. Um, for anyone to create a big company, it is absolutely team effort. So are there things you do as a CEO, you know, if you want to make sure my organization is innovative, are there things you do to actually make sure that you know, there's either things you do or don't do in terms of managing your team to allow them to be more innovative? Well, for me, uh, managing the team is about hiring the best talent, bringing those into branch out, uh, bringing those people, and putting them in a culture that they're going to flourish. So I'm not a micromanager. I believe you hire the right person for the job, and my job as a CEO is to then take roadblocks out of their way, give them a vision to execute on, but give them a lot of leeway that they can make their own decisions, right? Give them a lot of autonomy, and then let them run as fast as possible and, and kind of get out of their way, right? Just get the right people in place. Um, so that's, that's important. I think also important is aligning the incentives. And, you know, for at Branch Out, everyone has stock in the company, and I think that's very common in Silicon so Valley. So people feel ownership. They feel ownership, and they don't work for me. We all work for each other, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, there's different levels of, of um, equity ownership, but, but I think that's really important to have all the incentives aligned. So you give people a great opportunity, a great product to work on, and a financial incentive to to want to make it big. Great. Well, that's a, I think it's a great place to end. So that is really helpful and, I think, thoughtful, and it's been a pleasure talking to you. So right. thank you very much, Ray. Thank Take you. Take care.